Sorry, before you listen to the, the, the original clip, that was a mistake there. I said 1st November 1938 was the date the Jewish in Germany was massacred. But actually, it's November 9th. Yeah, November 9th. That is why it's very, very important when you make a mistake, you have to try in a way to correct it. Understand me? In order so that you don't give a false information out there. November 9th, 1938. Thank you very much and enjoy it. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, some of you, wherever you are. The video I'm about to show you right now, or you're about to watch, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it with this link. I'm going to post it with this video together. And these two videos are very, very important in what we are doing today. I don't need to introduce myself. When you see gold, black, green, red, you already know where I stand from. Good. And your duty is to make sure that you share this video and watch it. And make sure that the people that need this video the most, the struggle to have, the ignorant people, that they make sure they got this message. This uh, video is about uh, uh, November, November, November 1st, 1938 in Germany. November 1st, 1938. Yes, you heard me right. November 1st, 1938 in Germany. These people, do they know what happened? If they can go back and search on this particular date, November 1st, 1938. And after that, after that, September 1939 took place. It's very, very important. Now, let me share a little bit with you because you're going to watch it and you're going to make your own research. And make sure that you share it, let it go to the people that need it the most. In November, in November 1st, 1938, a Jewish church, a Jewish businesses, everything concerning the Jew, including population of Jews, the Jewish, in Germany here, were massacred, destroyed. In 1938, in 1938, they were gathered, everything about them was destroyed. We, you understand what I'm saying? Everything were destroyed. This is taking place right in front of our eyes. We're not talking about 1960, uh, 67, 1970 in Nigeria, Biafra. No, we're talking about this 21st century. The people of Southern Kaduna, they represent this mass people in Germany they represent the mass population of or they represent the mass population of uh, Jewish in Germany because what Adolf Hitler did was to make sure that he destroyed their businesses wherever they can get to get money for to fight this war to make sure they destroy whatever the resources they have or communication they have also, to destroy the people and kill the whole people. That is exactly what is happening or what happened or what is still happening in Southern Kaduna. So, because these are the people that will join force with the people the full and East Ginger will regard as enemy to fight them. You understand what I'm saying? And being that, that Southern Kadunas are living within them, they know them better. We in Biafra land knows them. But the common thing is that we share we share the same religion. That is the common thing. So they destroy the people from inside. You understand what I'm saying now? They destroy the people from inside in order to conquer the people from outside. That is why all this killing is going on in Southern Kaduna. You know what I'm saying now? This was before the, the Second World War. And the World War has already started. The Second World War has already begun. 
when he massacred the whole the whole Jewish in Germany. When Adolf Hitler massacred the whole Jewish. So if somebody is telling you that the war in Nigeria has not begun, it's already begun. The moment they start killing the Southern Karuna people, because they want to finish the people from inside before they go outside. Now, now, in nineteen in nineteen thirty nine. In 1939, what happened? They went to the neighboring country, which is Poland. You can go and make your research very well. Make research about the, 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 the religion background of Polish people. They are the most popular people. They are the most popular Jewish country in Europe at that time. You understand what I'm saying now? In 1939, September. So, it's very important. You share this, watch and share. What is happening in the zoo today is exactly what happened in Germany with Adolf Hitler. That is exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. When he came in, when he, when he, when Adolf Hitler came in power in 1933, he came through, he came through in a normal way. But once he got into that place, he made sure he forbid he forbid a political organization. He forbid a political organization. So if you fools don't know, do something right now, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you more. Because it's better that you start now doing what you have to do. Doing what you have to do. Because the Fulani will not leave a stone untouched. The Fulanis, they will not leave a stone untouched. This is exactly what happened in Germany. Killing all the Jewish, their businesses, uh, synagogue, everything. And now, he went straight to Polish to do the same because he know that these are the people that will fight them. And that is the reason why you saw Britain. Britain came in. I don't want to talk about Britain. Britain came in. Soviet, uh, Soviet Union came in. Um, USA came in. Um, and the French. USA, Great Britain, and, you, and, uh, and the French. Apart from Soviet Union, because Soviet Union make up the population of the make up the population of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a indigenous people from all over the world, all over the world. So Soviet Union was not made up of one country, but USA, France, and the Great Britain. They were fighting on their own interest. They were fighting for their own interest, and what was that interest? Slavery. You understand what I'm saying now? Slavery. Total control. Mentally control. That was what they, because that was after the Second World War that the abolishment of of abolishment of abolishment of of fiscal freeze uh, slavery took place. Was after the Second World War. Then they now went into phase two, which is mental slavery. And that is exactly what we are living in today. This is exactly what we are living in today. The time of fiscal slavery all over the world. That's why the fact that all, most of the uh, Arab country um, fiscal slavery is still going on over there right now. You understand what I'm saying? But globally, what we are living, but not just in Africa, not all over the world, everybody is still living on mental slavery. That is why I recommend you to go and read Willie Lynch, the Willie Lynch letter. 1712 and they actually took place on the uh, on, on the 23 december 23 december 1712 you understand what i'm saying now you understand what i'm saying so celebrating christmas also is is celebrating our stupidity celebrating christmas is celebrating our stupidity you have to go back and read history you see this Bible you see. 
It's not just Bible, but there's a lot of information that you have to know. And I recommend you to go and download the original Bible, which is 1611. From there, you see a lot of portion of Bible that was taken away by, from, uh, 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 by the white men. So that we don't know who we are. But the message this morning is that what happened in 1938 in Germany, clamping down by Adolf Hitler, clamping down on the, on the, on the Jewish. This is exactly what happened in Southern Kaduna. And the, as we're speaking today, as we're speaking right now, the people, they are coming into Biafra land on daily basis. You know it, I know it. What you got to do? Got to stand up. You got to stand up and use whatever you have to make sure that you stop it for your own interest. Just like what the British, French, and USA did for their own interest. Africans, African were used as slavery, free labor for more than 200 years in USA. You understand what I'm saying now? So these people, they were protecting their interests. So you, you have to think forward. You have to think forward and make sure that you protect your interest. Protect your interest because after we've lived and gone, our children will suffer it. Their children to come will be, will, will, will be conquered. Their children, their children will be conquered. Even if we leave to next generation, we will not have the strength again to do what we're doing right now. So you got to take pick up. You got to do what you have to do. Use the strength that you have now to make sure. To make sure that you, you, you do what you have to do. You do what you have to do. Let it get into your skull. Because what we're living in is mental slavery. As a musician, what you got to do? You make sure you speak. Use your voice to speak. As a musician, use your voice to speak. As an actor and an actress, use your acting to speak. Whatever you have, you have a data. Use your data to speak. Not going on social media doing one rubbish or the other. Why your people are being massacred? People are your people are being killed, and you based on social media wasting your data. Your mother is being raped. Your father is being killed. Your sister, everybody, and you're busy on social media doing nothing. Doing nothing. Like I said, the British, they joined alliance. With Soviet Union, USA, and France for their own interest. And what was that interest? What we're living in today. Mental slavery. Biafra is the only light of Africa. Biafra is the only light. It's only, it's only light that will shine. Because when you see this, some of you will think that this is a yellow. This is not a yellow. This is not yellow. This is a golden star. What you're seeing here in the Biafran flag, you see that little star. It's a golden star. It's not just, it's, 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 it's a golden sunshine. A golden sunshine. A golden sunshine from a trigger of Africa. A king will be graced. And who is that king? Nam de Kano. So this means a lot. And when you see this black here, when you see this black here, this black represents the people that died. It represents the people that died for this struggle. Right from the beginning. This is the, to, to show the sign of we're mourning them. And what you see here is a sign of a blood. People that died, this is the blood. This, and it's still flowing till today. It's still flowing today. So when you look at this, you know what this is all about. This is a fertile land, a rich land. So when you combine a rich land with a golden star sun, what does that tell you? It's a light in Africa. So whatever you have to do, you do it. Because 
1938 is already happening in Southern Kaduna, Nigeria today. 1938 is already happening in Southern Kaduna by Adolf Hitler killing, killing the inner carcass, the people that he thought that would give him trouble. You understand what I'm saying now? Killing the people that we feel will give him trouble before going outside the bus. What is that that's outside the bus? Biafra land, which is Poland. Poland is a neighboring country to Germany. And also their history is Jewish. You understand what I'm saying? So do what Britain did by fighting for her own interest. In joining ally with USA, do what USA did by fighting for our own interests. In joining ally with French, do what you have to do. Do what you have to do to make sure that you did exactly what French, what French did by joining ally with the Soviet Union. Soviet Union is fighting a just cause. Because the population of people all around the world that make up Soviet Union. You know. Thank you very much and make sure you share it. If you don't have time to watch this, just save it and watch it some other time. And make sure also go and download 1611 King James Bible. Why doing that? Also make a research about the Willie Lynch letter, 1712. You're going to hear it and you're going to love it, what you will discover by yourself. Thank you very much. All here we are from.